Today, I shall take the opportunity to introduce two personalities. One is Dr. Arbinda Singh, the country head of human diagnostics, who has his presence at 149 countries globally, and Dr. Vivekananda Panda, who has done his MD in microbiology, clinical microbiology. Both of them will speak today about the TV testing, which is a very unique methodology, also been I um, mean recognized by WHO. The unique technology is called the TB lamp technology. As I said, it is also been recognized and approved by WHO. So both of them, Dr. Arbinda Singh and Dr. Vivekananda Panda, will explain us today the benefit uh, of this technology, how uh, this technology is applied uh, to understand the TB diagnosis and the benefit of it. So let's hear from them. Thank you, Dr. Roy and health for your very kind introduction and it's my pleasure to be here today to talk about the TB lamp which is one of the finest technologies to diagnose pulmonary TB and also EPTB. It has got recently a recommendation from World Health Organization and we will talk more about it during the course of this discussion. So I have heard about this lamp, this, uh, this new one year method from various of these literatures and nowadays it's, uh, it's the talk of the town actually for TB. So can you tell me briefly what is this lamp is all about and what are the requirements and what are the principles of this test? Yes please, thank you Dr. Panda. Uh -huh. Lamp, TB lamp is a molecular test. As you know the diagnosis of TB, especially the first line diagnosis which is the sputum smear microscopy has always been challenging. The sensitivity of sputum smear microscopy is just about 50. In the best cases, is about 60%. So there are many cases which are not diagnosed properly. And because of the lack of a good technology, the patient who have not been able to diagnose positive for mycobacterial infection, they have not been able to brought into the treatment regimen. And that creates challenge. And that's what spreads TB more. TB lamp is a molecular test recently recommended by World Health Organization and which can potentially replace sputum smear microscopy. We will talk about its benefit later, but in a, in a, in a short note, let me tell you this is a, a, a molecular test. Lamp stands for loop mediated isothermal reaction. It is a test where the DNA is amplified at one single temperature, unlike a thermal cycler in a PCR where there is a thermal cycler fluctuation of temperature, the high temperature and it goes down. This is a simple instrument and very easy to perform a robust confirmatory test for the diagnosis of pulmonary TB. Okay. And then there are two or three other uh, WHO recommended tests are there like uh, we have our land light probation, then we have our gene experts. So what's the uh, benefits of these uh, TV lamp techniques in comparison to other two methods? They, those are more popular, I guess, for, Good question. for now. Good question. If you look at last 100 years of TB diagnosis, the choice, the best, and the choice of test has been is a sputum smear microscopy, then the culture, which is of course a benchmark and the gold standard, and recently some molecular platforms. WHO came out with a recommendation for light probe assay about 10 years back and then in about 2011 there was a recommendation from WHO for gene expert which is in India we also call it CBNAT and the most recent recommendation is for TB lamp which I just told you is a molecular assay as well. TB lamp is the only test among all those three recommendations made by WHO for LPA and for gene expert and now for TB lamp, TB lamp is the only test, TB lamp is the only test which has been said or which has been recommended as potential replacement for sputum smear microscopy. This was not stated for other recommendation made before by WHO. One of the, one of the important uh, benefit of this test is it is temperature independent it can be performed in a temperature from 5 degree to 35 degree without any special condition the biosafety requirement is similar to microscopy it does not need any sophisticated instrumentation 
this instrumentation which is available is actually a program heating block and it can be done in a minimal infrastructure setup. The clinical validation which was done by WHO and FINE in 20 countries worldwide and there were two centers in India, PGI Chandigarh and Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical uh, Sciences in Vardha. The, the clinical validation in NGIMS Vardha was done at a, in a rural microscopy center which is the intended place of use for the test. This test, test can be performed at peripheral center, at rural microscopy center because there are no special requirements required. I mean there are no special requirement for, for uh, 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 reagents or kits to be shipped in a freezing condition or in a minus 20. This can be shipped with a normal ice cool pack from any countryside location and can be performed at a countryside in a rural microscopy center. That's very nice actually. Uh, you mean to say we don't don't need any specific lab arrangements or you, uh, we don't need any sophisticated methods that yes, that's actually require for molecular testing. That's and all. right. So we don't need those things. That's, that's, that's the main advantage. If you look at the policy guideline of World Health Organization, which is available in a public domain, you can go to Google and download WHO policy guideline on TB lamp. It's a human ICAN TB lamp manufactured by ICAN in Japan and globally sold by Human Diagnostics, which is a German based company, as also introduced by Mr. Roy and, and Health. So, uh, this test does not need any sophisticated transportation. It can be performed uh, in a condition where biosafety requirement is similar to the sputum spear microscopy requirement. It is also mentioned in one of the listed features in the WHO document. So you have few publications also related to this? Yes, recently we have uh, had a paper, not me, but uh, uh, one of our, uh, one of uh, a very uh, respected uh, lab from PGI Chandigarh. Uh, they published, they published in International Journal for Tuberculosis and Lung Diseases, a paper uh, showing, showing TB lamp uh, sensitivity and specificity where it said 100% sensitivity of TB lamp and 99.2% specificity for TB lamp with very high NPV and good PPV values. The negative predictive value is also 100%. So do you have publications regarding that? Yes, there are, yes, there are several publications for TB lamp, many, many of them and some of them are also part of the policy guideline which has been published by World Health Organization on TB lamp. It's available in public domain. You can go to Google and say WHO policy guideline on TB lamp and this is a document which illustrates the comparison of TB lamp with the current technologies that is sputum smear microscopy, culture, gene expert and other tests which are there uh, available in the laboratories. And this test, as I just said, has been part of several studies worldwide. Recently, one study was published from PGI Chandigarh in the International Journal for Tuberculosis and Lung Diseases, which is one of the high rated journals for TB diagnostics published by the union. This study states TB lamp sensitivity as 100% in northern Indian population and specificity as 99.2% in, in the northern Indian population. That publication is also available and you can download it from International Journal for Tuberculosis and Lung Diseases. Well, about the next question, it's the most important one. How many samples you can run per test and uh, what is the approximate cost per sample? The number of tests per batch is 14, 1, 4. The slot at, at given point of time for one test is for 16 tests. So 14 tests, 14 sample, plus one positive control and one negative control. So one batch comprises of 16 tubes where you use 14 samples per batch and each batch can be completed in one and a half hours time. So within two hours we can see around Absolutely. 14 to 16 samples. Within two, hours, within two hours you get the result and which is visually available. You see this is a visual detection of the TB confirmatory test turns green in a fluorescent light and a negative sample remains transparent and clear solution. Very simple to, to visualize the test. Any lab technician with just few hours of training, maximum about half a day training, 
can be can be uh, trained to do uh, TB lab with perfection. And what is the approximate cost per sample? The cost is also in the public domain. Uh, you can go to the fine web page and get the cost. The cost for instrument as per the fine available for countries like India is about 2500 euro and the cost per test is 7 euro. This is, this is defined uh, by the fine and uh, we have to abide by those costs uh, which has been uh, published in the public domain by international bodies. So quite affordable there. It is, it is, it is, it is. We are also making some special arrangements here that if a lab gives a commitment for about 8 to 10 tests per day, we are willing to invest for instrumentation and we will provide instrumentation free of cost to a laboratory where they give us a commitment for about 8 to 10 tests per day. Eight. We are going to invest, we are going to invest for that laboratory. 8 to 10 samples per day are usually normal in our case actually in India. It's 8 to 10 cases are usually uh, come to all, any of the medium or large scale That's uh, laboratories. That's correct. Thank you and health. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video interesting and beneficial for you, please click the bell button and subscribe. Thank you.